So today we're making a Father's Day card from a Hero Arts kit. Um, the fishing part of this, the pier part, is available, but the mountain and um, tree line is not. I'm going to be using some colored paper, and I like using colored paper. It's kind of a shortcut. And I just keep my colored paper in tubs so I can easily find the color that I want without spending a lot of time sorting. So this card is for my father-in-law, and he is a nature lover, and that's why I chose this mountain and lake scene. And so it's layered stamps. Um, so we start out with the lightest color ink, and do the second layer in the darker color ink. And I'm using mini ink cubes because they're so much easier when you're using a stamping platform. This stamping platform is discontinued. But I do have a link in the description to the currently available alternatives, including a DIY version made from a CD case. And I did do I did do this twice, mostly because I was trying to have a, at least one good card come out of it, um, not because I necessarily needed two cards. So the second layer on the trees um, is the darker color, and I am using a bunch of distress inks. In a, just a variety of colors, whatever I thought might look good. And the um, mountains are also a two layer stamp. So I think that um, two layers is about enough for me. Some of the advanced layering stamp sets have four or five layers, and that uh, tries my patience as, and it is a challenge to my stamping ability as well. Even with a stamp platform, I think <clears throat> I have some spotty results. I do have a little piece of fun foam in the bottom of my stamping platform. I find that certainly helps, especially with the clear stamps. Um, the Close to My Heart clear stamps actually come with a piece of foam to stamp on, and I, I think it's a good idea. It really helps me. So now that we've got the, um, the mountains finished, I went, and went to the die cutter, and uh, the set also came with a mountain range and a tree line that didn't have stamping, so I went ahead and cut those. Why not? And then in my stamps, I also had a set from Stampin' Up that had some um, evergreen trees. So I'm going to flip over to the rubber side and uh, stamp these rubber stamps. Beautiful, beautiful stamp images. This is the same as Lovely as a Tree, which you may remember from back in the day of Wood Mountain stamp sets. Then from a different Hero Arts set, I've got a um, sentiment for the back of the card that says Handmade with Love. Um, this is from a monthly kit that was about crafting. So I thought that was very appropriate. And from the um, Everyday Greeting set, or Celebrate Everyday set, I've got the greeting for Happy Father's Day. So I did have to turn the card sideways in order to fit the uh, Happy Father's Day. My stamp cleaner there is actually a car chamois from the auto section. Um, this is similar but not identical to the craft versions. The craft versions are nicer, but I live someplace where the mildew is just inevitable. Um, in the kitchen, I sprinkle salt on my kitchen sponge to hold back the mildew, and I'm, I'm reluctant to do that to my craft supplies. So with the car chamois, I get the chance to just toss it away when it grows mildew and, and cut a fresh piece. So if you're also in a humid climate, you might find that to be a useful tip. Now that everything's been stamped and die cut, um, I'm just looking at my colored paper to decide how to layer this stuff up. And I spent a huge amount of time contemplating, did I want a sunny yellow sky? Did I want a pink sky like it was dawn or sunset? Did I want smooth paper for my lake? Did I want textured paper for my lake? So I did finally commit, and that textured paper is some club scrap paper. I recognize it. Um, most of the time when I pull something out of the scrap box, I just have no idea what it is. What I did not realize when I got started on making this um, card is that that um, tree line is not a full four and a quarter inches wide. <clears throat> So, in order to make it stretch all the way across the card, I did cut the extra trees um, in half. We're going to do that in a second to stretch them across the card, and I, I still was not really happy with it. But I'm layering up my extra mountain range behind the stamped mountain range. Give that a little extra depth. 
and then we're going to layer up the tree line and here's where I'm going to split that extra tree line to stretch out my stamp tree line. I, I think in retrospect I probably should have just gone and stamped another tree line to stretch it out a little bit. That would have been the better approach. Did not occur to me in the moment. So what can I say? Learn from my mistake. So I just attached using my precision glue bottle a little bit of that extra tree line on each side before I rejected that approach later. Just tapping it to make sure that the tree line is straight. Nothing could be worse than getting seasick at the lake, I think. Then I'm going to attach the mountain range to the sunny day sky. Um, I realize the sky is normally blue, but I thought that would be an awful lot of blue on the front of this card. So um, a little yellow background to represent a sunny day I think is appropriate. So attaching the mountain range. Make sure that's on there. Then I'm going to uh, attach that tree line and fiddle with it a little bit. Decided that my lake needed a little bit more depth. So in order to make the lake look a little more lakey, I'm just marking where all the stuff is going to come on that um, piece of paper. I'm going to ink blend a little bit of blue ink onto my lake to give it a little bit of depth right at the shoreline. And I'm using some Altenew in Dusk and then uh, stamping up Night of Navy to really give it some, some dark edges. So um, I did leave an open spot in my lake on this card um, in order to put my, my father-in-law's name in die-cut letters. I'm not actually showing that in the video because he did not sign up for this. <laughs> so it, it'll just be blank in the video. Now I've chosen a, a um, sentiment from the lake set that says you make this world a beautiful place that I thought went both with the, uh, the occasion, the person, and the, uh, the scene that we're building. And I'm just stamping that in uh, Night of Navy to match the, uh, the, the lake water. And then I'm just going to go ahead and attach my sunny sky and my mountain range. Um, I don't think you need a huge amount of glue. This is not what I would call load-bearing paper. So just want to make sure there's enough to hold it in place on that textured background. And then I've just really dithered about the tree line, back and forth, back and forth. Do I like it? Do I not like it? Do I like this other one? No. Nah. Um, so in the end, I decided I did not like the extra tree line with no stamping, and I decided to cover it up with one of my Stampin' Up! trees as if that were a little bit closer to us on the shoreline. So uh, that's the plan I'm going to go with in the end. So a little bit more glue from the Precision Glue Bottle, and this is just a uh, needle nose bottle that I've filled with Elmer's Extra Strong Glue. I did a, a really extensive analysis of the price of glue for crafting, and I have to say that you really end up paying for the dispenser and not for the contents. So I really have not found that any particular glue is better than Elmer's. You're really paying for the fine tip. So you can get these needle nose bottles pretty inexpensively, and um, I'll, I'll link some below. And when I did the math on this, this cost 1 36th the price as a one ounce glue tube from a craft company. So I could do a one ounce needle nose bottle 36 times for the cost of a one ounce glue tube. And the glue tubes are nice, but they're not 36 times nicer. So um, I really encourage you to contemplate uh, decanting your favorite glue into one of these needle nose bottles because it saves a ton of money. So now I'm just going to attach the completed panel to the card base that has got my Happy Father's Day sentiment on the inside, as well as the Handmade for, with Love on the back of the card. Just a little bit of glue to complete this card. So I hope that you have uh, enjoyed the time you've spent with me today. I do appreciate it. Please visit me at papercraftcrystal.com.